damn it, boy, I am AKA Bands and this here support this TV. Okay, your boy DJ Self, you know, of Power 105 1 in New York. You know, he also play on Love and Hip Hop New York. Love and Hip Hop New York was shooting a um, reunion for season seven. And I'm going to say allegedly, because it's been conflicting reports about the story. But allegedly, DJ Self slaps Cardi B's sister because Cardi B and Major Galore got into it during the shooting of the reunion. Now, I might be saying this lady Major Galore name wrong because I don't watch the show. Now, at the beginning of Love and Hip Hop, back in the day, I watched it along with everybody else. But now I don't watch it. But um, they they saying that Major Galore and Cardi B was fighting. He jumped in the middle and ended up smacking Cardi B's sister. Don't really know how that happened. You know, then there's other stories saying that he jumped in the middle and he took Major Galore's side and ended up hitting Cardi B. I don't know if he hit them or not. My, my, my point of making a story is not to bash DJ Self or anything like that. My point is to make the story the state that's right here. Love and hip hop should not be called love and hip hop. Most of the people that's on love and hip hop, you do not know them. They are not like they was big stars right now and they out here making hot music. It's not the case. Most of these people on here is background people that you probably never heard of. Most of them are guys who had a little buzz at some point that fizzed out and they got like they second chance at fame by being on the show. I'm not going to sit right here and I'm also not going to blame um, Mona Scott Young, who is the creator of the show, because anybody else who would have thought of the idea before her would have done it. You know, these are grown people who will pay, who will pay grown money to go in and act like a fool. Now, my reason for not watching it, because like I said, it's not loving hip hop to me. It's not loving hip hop to me. It's 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 fake. It's almost like watching professional wrestling. I know professional wrestling is scripted. I know professional wrestling is entertainment with a little realism in it. This show right here is scripted. I'm not saying all of the scripted, but a, a good piece of the scripted. And if they ever come out and say, yes, we do script part of the show, yeah, then I will watch it. But you, you telling me that you're not scripting the show is all real. I'm not watching it based on that fact because it's not all real. But real stuff do happen because of the show where people are hitting each other, where people are um, hating each other and bashing each other. Only thing you see on this show is everybody piping each other. You know, everybody saying they making music, everybody saying they doing big things, but you never really see anything or hear about anything outside of the show from some of them, but not most of them. But then in the past, on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood, Bird was kicked off the show for allegedly hitting Masika, which was not on camera, but they kicked them off the show. Ray J pushed Princess Love inside a pool on camera, on the show, and he was not kicked off the show. So it's interesting to see what happened with DJ Self in this situation. Do they kick him off the show because he got involved in this fight? Do they keep him on? Do they cover it up? Let's see. But I feel like I want to cover the story because I want to give my point of view of Love and Hip Hop, which should be a different name. But I am AKA Bands. Please leave your comments. Please like and subscribe to support this TV. Peace.